I have just a few dies in my stash that just will not cut through and I end up having to poke pieces out and rip the cardstock to get the design through. Now if you've got dies like this and you're struggling, I actually heard a tip the other day that I have not tried out yet and I'm going to try it out with all of you. So we're going to have a go at this hack, see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm going to give you my top tips for die cutting intricate dies anyway, so you can hopefully get the best out of those. So this is the result of cutting this die in the normal way through my die cutting machine. The cardstock is around about 220 GSM, so it should be perfect for die cutting. Um, some of the elements I can probably pop away, but certainly in the middle here, there's absolutely nothing cut through whatsoever. I haven't put any shims with this. I've not gone through multiple times or anything like that because I want to see if this hack makes a difference and it's actually a really easy one i don't know how it would work if it's going to but somebody said to use bubble wrap so i'm going to be using this now one person said bubble wrap someone else said yes it's great but have you tried a jiffy bag that is obviously a brand but the sort of bags that have the bubbles in them so i'm going to cut myself a section of this bag i've obviously cut the front off um, and try this now first of all this is going to be a shim essentially it is going to be some extra pressure anyway so I kind of expect a slightly better cut I also expect this to be quite hard to put through my machine with the additional pressure um, but we'll see if it really makes a difference and like I say if not stay tuned for the end because I do have lots of tips and tricks that may well help you to cut through these dies anyway so in the spirit of keeping everything fair, I have got the other half of this cardstock. So I'm using the same cardstock to run through, the same die as well. I'm going to open this up now. I cut this one with my die facing up. And this is actually one of my tips for you anyway. So putting the die on the plate first, then the cardstock on top like so. Now, from what I understand, this tip says to then put your bubble wrap or jiffy bag over the top of that. So it's almost cutting into the um, jiffy bag as well. I'm not sure. Now I've got two pieces here because I cut this in half. So we will try it on both sides of the die. And I love this sort of experimentation with you all because you can really see the results as they happen and see what actually you know there's no editing there's no covering this up if it doesn't work so first of all oh i love that i can hear the popping of the bubble wrap do you know what that is satisfying anyway i could do that all day regardless of whether it actually makes a difference so let's first of all see well i think it's actually it has wow i mean there's there's a little bit here that's still not quite cut through just there and the same just here but that has made a huge difference so i put this in the machine the same way and the same cardstock as this one and yes like i say there is an additional bit of pressure there but look at the difference that that has made so far already now let me get another sheet of this cardstock and let's try this piece maybe underneath the die and see whether that is just enough to cut through all of these pieces there is just a tiny little bit missing there so again i'm going to take exactly the same cardstock just to keep things absolutely fair um, i'm going to need to trim my envelope down a little so i just take the edge off here this is just a spare one uh, i was sent i didn't go out and buy a brand new one so i don't know if all the bubbles have air in them still they feel like they do so this time i'm going to put my bubble wrap down then i'm going to place my die over the top let's just make sure there's no bits in there and then my paper over the top of that and then my plate okay now let's have a go with this one so again hopefully yeah, we still have that wonderful cracking sound. Now I'm just running this through the once, okay? So I'm just running it through one time. Very often with any die, I would go forwards and backwards. And let's see, ah, see this time, no, it hasn't cut through anywhere near as well. So despite the fact it will have had exactly the same amount of pressure, definitely cutting in to the bubble wrap will have made a huge difference. 
So I did promise my top tips anyway. Um, so if you've got a large die like this, I'm actually working with a five by seven die going into the big shot. So this is around about an A5 size plate. So there's only so much in the way of rotating my die that I can do, but I am still always going to put my die at a slight diagonal um, if I can, as long as it will fit, because I just find if there's any straight whether it be horizontal or vertical lines, they are then going to hit the rollers at a diagonal and you will get a much better cut. Now, I also always put my die facing upwards, which I have already explained, and I did actually do that on um, these other ones anyway. Um, so cutting upwards, I just think it makes a massive difference. If you're not already doing that in your die cutting machine and you are cutting downwards, so this way and running that through, you are not going to get anywhere near as good a cut as if you turn that over so your paper is on top of your die and you cut this way. So then I will just put one single clear plate on top and that's my sandwich and I run that through. However, I've even been known with the hardest of dies to switch up my sandwich and put this thin plate on the very top okay or if it really 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 is a difficult one i've actually added an additional shim but my shim is a metal one now this is a very thin metal one as you can see it's a bendy metal this is one that i purchased when i used to cut through a lot of fabric and um, this was great for cutting things like the big dies the deep dish dies that we used to have um, but this is great if you're cutting through acetate as well to cut against it. Without this, I struggle to die cut acetate at all. So this thin metal shim, I would put this on top with nothing else. So all the plates are underneath. Now let's run this through and let's see how we get on now with those additional few adaptations and see if we can get this die cut all the way through. As I say, another tip of course is to run it through and then back once more. So let's do that. You will get a lot of cracking from the plate, a lot of noise, but don't worry, that always bends back perfectly. I'm just going to check before I run it back through. Let's bring this so you can see it. Now this is curled up, that's absolutely fine. You can always bend this back. But I'm just going to check that this hasn't moved. Otherwise, when I bring it back, I'm going to be double cutting. And that's the last thing we want. So I'm just going through very slowly. OK, so we've added in the metal shim. We've adjusted the plate combination. We have put the die in a slight direction. So slight twist in the machine as well. And yes, I'm just going to release the tape, but it looks like this has cut through absolutely perfectly. Now, obviously, it's not always ideal putting your die that close to the rollers. You're getting an extreme amount of pressure. But do you know what? Now and then, if you've got a really difficult die to cut through, let's look at this. So these were the areas just in the middle here that weren't cutting through before. Check that out. Not even a pokey tool in sight. I've just flicked everything out. How brilliant is that? Okay, so the bubble wrap did work to a point, but if you're really, really struggling, take those additional tips and use those and let me know how you get on with any dies that you've just put aside for years and not used because you just simply can't cut through them. Like I say, this is a 220 GSM cardstock. Results will differ depending on the cardstock you're using, depending on the die, the intricacy, etc, etc. But yeah, let me know if in the comments if this helped. And if you have any additional die cutting tips and tricks, again, let us know in the comments. Let everybody else know so we can all benefit from them. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care and I'll see you again very soon.